I, I believe that if the, the, the democratic countries in, in the Spanish Civil War had aided the Republic so that Franco would not have had the complete victory that he had, we didn't need World War II. It's as important as that. There's a, a readiness to sacrifice for the general interests of humanity without any class distinctions or ethnic distinctions and so on and so on, which I think is very rare and very wonderful. The first thing that attracted me to Spain was the Spanish Civil War. I was 15 years old when it broke out. My father was a socialist. My, my brother was a communist. I was very politically conscious already by the age of 15, reading the newspapers, so on and so on. Then, as it happened, uh, I was in an automobile accident in my junior year in college so that I would, my military service in World War II was postponed six months for, to get a full recovery. And those six months were the six months after I graduated. So I had a uh, short time, just two months actually, in Mexico on a Sheldon traveling fellowship met the, the leaders and a lot of the personalities of the Republican exile community there, and at that point became interested not only in the, in the history of, of the Republic, but of Latin America. Forty-nine, fifty, I was at Stanford and got a master's degree at that time, you couldn't get into a doctoral program in a European university unless you had a master's first. So I was a master's at Stanford, and then I went to the University of Toulouse. That's where I, I got my doctorate. Well, I was jealous of my many friends who had been in the European theater during the war and had had a chance to learn really to speak French or German and so on. I had been out in the Pacific Islands making maps of tropical islands and so forth, and uh, so I, I, it was partly an, an effort to become bilingual. And uh, I would say something like a third to a half of the population of the university and of maybe of the city of Toulouse were Spanish refugees at that time. And, uh, so I, I met a great many, I had a great many student friends, and that was important for my later research too, because uh, when I went to Spain to study the Republic uh, in, the, in the 60s, uh, people would have been afraid to talk to me if they didn't have some, someone vouching for me, so to speak. And so I had, uh, letters from various refugees in Toulouse uh, saying that you can trust this man and so on. Uh, my wife and I would have been very happy to stay in France if at that time it, w it would have been possible for Americans to, to get jobs in the uh, French teaching system. In 1948, when I was teaching at the Putney School, uh, I was visited by the FBI, and there were two. I, I gather there were always two when I exchanged experiences with other people, and that was the way it was. And uh, they wanted me to, to tell them about my classmates. They, they didn't accuse me of being a communist or of having done anything subversive and so on and so on, but they had that did you know this one and that one? And I said, yes, these were personal friends of mine. Well, then they began asking political questions about them, and, and I simply said that I didn't consider it my business. I didn't know whether they were members of any political party or, or not. And uh, that was considered to be non-cooperation on my part. Uh, and, it, and it was, of course. I mean, I, 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 was, I was opposed to, to this uh, 
kind of in interrogation. That followed me wherever I was looking for a job in 1954 or 55. Uh, I was interviewed and had a very favorable interview for a job in Spanish and Latin American history at Dartmouth College. But one of the people interviewing me after the interview said, listen, I'm very sorry to have to say this, but we know you're on that uh, Cone, Ray, Roy Cohn's list and the, you, you're not going to get an offer from Dartmouth and <laughs> might as well know it now. Uh, I felt at home in Spain as soon as I got there. And I naturally wondered about that, especially the hospitality of uh, families that I knew in both Madrid and, and Barcelona. There was something about the style of invitation and the, the, the personal behavior that simply reminded me of my own background which is mostly East European Jewish. And so then I began to realize, well, there, 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 are, there are cultural traits. It's hard to define them. You can't put percentages on them. But there are cultural traits which evidently last for centuries, even though the official religion or the language spoken, or the formal education, so on, is different because the, my, my hosts, the parents of my fellow student friends and so on whom I met in Spain uh, reminded me of my own uh, Jewish East European aunts and uncles. Well, I have always thought, not just, as, not just concerning the Spanish Civil War, but concerning Stalinism, concerning Hitlerism and so on, I've always thought that you can't put something really behind you until you have recognized the truth of it. There's no use just trying to neglect it or bury it and so on and so on. So it just seems to me a colossal mistake on the part of the conservatives in Spain to try to say that's far past, uh, don't, let's not rake the old coals and so on and so on. And the, the force, the emotional force of that historical memory movement, uh, it seems to me, is, is very easily understandable because people had been unable for 60 or 70 years to talk about the most intimate things and sufferings uh, in, in their lives. And so uh, it, it really comes out in a, in a forceful form when there's enough political liberty that, that they can dare to, to speak. Uh, it was a very satisfying uh, experience to realize that uh, a man who was uh, essentially uh, a scientist, but also with his, with his uh, left democratic political principles, that uh, he was as clear-sighted as he was and that he did everything. I mean, really sacrificed his complete career and sacrificed his personal health uh, to try to convince the democratic countries that it was, that, that they should, that by defending the Spanish Republic, they could defeat fascism without a World War II, without a Holocaust and so on. Uh, yes. <laughs> what will you miss most about it? I like kissing people on both cheeks. 